O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your throne has been established from of old. You are from everlasting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Today's scripture reading is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, the 24th chapter. Jesus said to his followers, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending you what my Father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then Jesus led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was taken up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple blessing God. Here ends the reading. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I've always loved learning about space. My parents had a book called Our Universe that, as a six-year-old, I would pour through. I didn't always understand everything it was saying, but I loved the images. And this particular book featured images from space probes called Voyager 1 and 2, 
they'd sent back pictures of the outer planets of the solar system. And looking at those images, the clearest images humanity had up to that point, it filled me with a strange energy, a feeling of being lifted up. And yet, even at that young age, I was becoming aware of a feeling of tension between the majesty of space and the majesty of God. Because it was at that time that I first realized heaven wasn't a physical place above the sky. As I grew older, technology grew up with me. And by the time I sat down in my college astronomy class, we had more images and clearer images. One image in particular took my breath away. This image is called the Hubble Deep Field. It's actually a set of 342 different exposures. It covers about 1 24 millionth of the whole sky. It's such a small field, in fact, that almost all of the objects in this image are galaxies, about 3,000 galaxies in all. So there are potentially around 3 trillion stars in this image. Today, the church celebrates the day of the, of the Ascension. Today, the church celebrates the day of the Ascension. On the 40th day after Jesus' resurrection, he taught his followers about the Hebrew scriptures and about himself. He empowered them to proclaim his message and to give their own testimony to whoever they could. And then he went out to a mountaintop, blessed them, and was taken up into heaven. The Day of Ascension can be a difficult day to celebrate in a world that realizes heaven isn't simply above the sky. There were questions that floated around in my child brain. Is Jesus out there floating in space? Is there a particular galaxy that's his? Nowadays, a story like this might seem more like a quaint folk tale, outdated or maybe even embarrassing. But when the deep field came along, I was able to make a connection in my brain that made room for the ascension of Jesus. Now I can look at that image not only with awe for the universe, but with faith in Christ. Not because it answered any of my questions, but because it offered a deeper background for my questions. Martin Luther once wrote about where Jesus went God, in his essence, is present everywhere, in and through the whole creation, in all its parts, and in all places. And so the world is full of God, and he fills it all. Therefore, Christ's body is at the right hand of God, which is everywhere. The ascension of Jesus isn't the conclusion of his life or his final act of ministry of him returning to a certain place above the sky to sit on a throne and wait until the end of everything. The ascension declares the widening of his ministry. Jesus is no longer confined to first century Judea, to be found here but not there, or then but not now. Jesus has ascended in order that he may be everywhere in the cosmos, in the scriptures, in holy baptism and communion, in human beings, even in the photographed but yet unexplored deep field. The message of ascension for me is that there is no place that Jesus Christ does not inhabit. Wherever we go, he is there. And that means our work in the world cannot be in vain. For no matter how far we enter into the world's sorrow, Jesus is there, and that means also that the future cannot be bad. For no matter how difficult life gets, even to death, Jesus is there. May we remember the good news of the Ascension every day in our personal meditation, in our speaking and listening, in our call to work for the kingdom of God in a future yet unseen and yet God-filled. Thanks be to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 
we continue with a response from the Psalms. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the ram's horn. Mightier than the sound of many waters, mightier is the Lord who dwells on high. For God is king of all the earth, God reigns over the nations. God is enthroned on high, the earth is the Lord's and all that is in it. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray with confidence using the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Good come and be over. You're pulling me close. With the muse of me, you keep me whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're taking. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.